What is going on guys, Has here, collectivekicks.com and I wanted to bring you guys a video today, show you guys a pair of shoes that I know many sneakerheads have been sleeping on thus far and it's a pair of boots that I'm pretty sure you have not tried. Thank you guys for tuning in, hopefully you guys are enjoying the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, let you guys know when I'm posting new videos. If you guys missed it on one of my previous videos, I'm giving away two $100 gift cards for back to school in my top 10 back to school sneaker video for under $100. And if you guys wanna go check out that video, feel free to go do so and then come back and watch the rest of this one. But this is a pair of shoes right here that I think that most people are sleeping on. Um, in the sneaker community and I wanted to show you guys what we have in this package first Then I got a couple miscellaneous things over in these boxes over here But hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and get into it I have my trusty blade here But the reality is I don't need to use this blade here to open the box because I have super strength powers <laughs> uh, Basically, I already opened these I mean I had to check them out as soon as I got them and I couldn't wait for y'all to look at these So this is a pair of shoes um, Kudos to Jackrabbit for sending me this pair and this is a pair of Addy Zero Boston 6s with the graphic on it. And this is a colorway that, of course, I dig. You have the black and silver colorway, obviously the white boost, and then you have that trim of orange, which I absolutely love because, obviously, uh, I'm a Beaver fan. Go Beavs! And this is definitely one of those shoes that I think sneakerheads have been sleeping on, but I think runners have um, had an appreciation for this shoe. So, runners... We're, we're out here taking more of your shine, sorry. Uh, no, I, I just, it's just one of those things that I think that this has been a traditionally just a straight up running shoe, but I wanted to give it a try and see how I thought these were from more of a casual perspective. Now I know there's a lot of things about the shoe that definitely screams that this is a performance shoe made for running, made for running long distances and marathons and everything. Obviously with such a name as the Boston Six, you have, you have to pretty much know that this is made just for marathons. So this is really for like long distance. It's a pretty lightweight shoe. It's lighter than the Ultra Boost. I believe it's like 8.5 ounces uh, for a size nine. The number one thing that I think is cool about this shoe is this has continental rubber on the bottom. And I've heard that the traction of this is actually really, really, really good. It's probably better than on the Ultra Boost. It's thicker than what you get on the Ultra Boost. It's really made for those people that are runners out there that run on their little tippy toes. And uh, you know, they don't hit the, the heel strikes or whatever. I think that the fact that you can get continental rubber on the bottom for the traction for 120 bucks, I think that is a pretty cool thing. That paired with the Adidas Boost, which is obviously uh, a huge component of the shoe being able to be very comfortable and responsive. And I think that the difference between something like this and something like this, this shoe right here, the Ultra Boost, is very comfortable and responsive, but more, more cushiony than anything. This shoe right here, because of the minimal amounts of boost on the shoe, is definitely more responsive. And I think that that is why this is probably made more for runners and why we don't really care as much about a shoe like this in the sneaker community because we look for max comfort at this point, not for responsiveness since we're not running and hopping around on these shoes all day long. Maybe that's the reason why we have not turned to this type of a model yet and wanted to give it a fair shake. But for me, I've said this in the past about a thousand times that Adidas Boost is like pizza and all pizza is good. Even if it's in smaller quantities, it's still a good product. But anyways, I wanna know what you guys think about this shoe right here. Have you guys given this a try from a casual perspective yet? Are you a runner? Is this something that you guys wear in the gym? This shoe definitely looks like it's extremely breathable. If you had breathability issues with the Ultra Boost, this shoe definitely looks really, really breathable. Uh, all around the shoe from anywhere from around this cage even on the toe box And then it looks like it has a nice amount of cushioning on the collar and on the tongue of the shoe as well All around this shoe looks really really good in my opinion and I literally jumped at the opportunity when um, They said that they wanted to send me a pair of these so if you guys actually want to buy a pair from Jackrabbit Check the links in the description. I've actually been posting some deals to their ultra boosts as well They've had some for under retail down to hundred and sixty five dollars, which is a pretty darn good deal um, and they had like five colorways in stock, which is great. But $120 on these, and I'm really happy to give another Boost pair of sneakers a try, and one that has not had a lot of shine historically. Just leave a comment and let me know if you guys have tried the Addy Zero or the Addy Zero Boston 6 or any of the previous Bostons. This is the latest version. But uh, let's move on and show you guys a couple of the other things before we wrap up the video. 
I ended up getting a t-shirt from Compound Gallery in Portland. Shout out to them. They actually let Jen and myself shoot some photos for our Saucony photo shoot. That uh, is going to be on Saucony's website pretty soon. And I ended up picking up a Compound t-shirt that looks like the Capcom logo. I thought that was really dope. But this is the part that set it off for me on the back of the shirt. There's a little Mega Man style helmet. Definitely a sick t-shirt. It's literally been sitting in this bag for weeks because I've totally forgot about doing this video. So I wanted to show you guys that. So something else I've been doing for you guys that you guys may not have known is I've been giving away Adidas employee store passes. I've literally been meeting people at my work to give them Adidas employee store passes so they can go to the Adidas store, uh, employee store and go shopping. I basically reached out on Twitter and said, you know, don't pay for a pass, just try to hit me up and I'll try to work something out. I've been filtering literally hundreds of emails from people trying to help them out to go to the Adidas employee store. I'm gonna have to stop doing that for the most part right now because I'm out of passes, but I'm going to try to make it so I take the passes to Index PDX next time and just send people over there so it's a lot easier. But I really have been trying to help people out and one of the people that um, reached out to me actually ended up bringing this, he was from the Bay Area or LA area and he ended up giving me this shirt right here, which is the Kobe shirt that you had to be in um, LA for at the Staples Center. And it says, always love the hate. I loved the fact that he gave this. And obviously it's just kind of a nod to the haters out there on YouTube and just love them, I guess. So I love y'all. Uh, but anyway, definitely a cool shirt. And I was really happy that he was uh, just gifting me something cool like that. He didn't have to do it. I was doing something generous. I wasn't trying to ask for nothing in return. And it was cool to see that he ended up giving me that. Another dude actually met me up and brought me some pastries. I was like, this is some crazy stuff. But for the most part, everybody's been real cool. And it's been nice to be able to meet up with people. Um, next up, I actually ended up getting this shirt right here. I've been waiting to show you guys this so I can open it and actually wear this to work. So here we go. We have a Kith box logo shirt. And this is my third one. Quality on this one is 10 times better than the other two, though. This is really, really thick. Um, if anybody's actually copped this, I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be this high of a quality shirt, man. This is really, really nice. Check out the logo on the back right here is really nice. Uh, price point, I think it was like 50 bucks on, on this or something. Yeah, 55 bucks. So not a cheap shirt, but really, really solid quality. Really, really thick materials as you may or may not be able to see right here. And definitely a shirt that I can wear in the wintertime and layer and whatnot. Lucked out on getting this on Kith's site. They've been really, really difficult to actually cop shirts from. I really wanted the orange shirt, but I struck out, so this one's just going to have to do right here, and I'm happy to have gotten that one. Moving on, I got a package from Rope Lace Supply, and I will be doing a feature video with these. But Rope Lace Supply hooked me up with a bunch of laces, as you can see here. Tons and tons of laces, and I'm really excited to bring you guys a lacing tutorial video. The dogs... Dogs are bark the dogs are barking again. But I got a bunch of laces from Rope Lace Supply and it's definitely one of the premium lace companies out there. I will be doing a promo with them on Tuesday, so check back for a lacing tutorial video top five. And I'm really excited to show you some of the products right here because some of these are straight fire. So the last thing I just wanted to show you guys, I ended up getting this random box sent to me and it's in a sneaker tub box. It's ginormous. I literally, while it's on this giant um, wooden box, I literally just got a splinter on my pinky right now. Ow, that hurt, brah. Cool wooden box, love the concept, but they needed to polish up the wood a little bit. Anyway, sneaker tub, a uh, grailed pack, and this is something that they sent to me. I thought this was kind of cool. I wanted to show you guys. I've been meaning to show you, I just haven't had time to do it. And you could see um, big wooden thing, and it tells you a bunch of stuff about the grail pack. And in here, there's only 25, packs available at the site and it tells you everything that's in the tub right here. On the flip side, it actually shows you this little thing right here and shows you some of the stuff that could be in the bag. So um, let's go ahead and show you that. There is a t-shirt, real crazy looking Puma t-shirt, kind of some paint splatter t-shirt. There is a dad hat, every day. You guys want to see what I look like with a dad hat? Yo. This is for real why I don't wear dad hats, because I feel like... Howdy, y'all! <laughs> don't work for my... I have a round ass head. Dad hats do not work for me. You, you all, leave a thumbs up if you guys like to see the dad hat on hats. It's just not something that we're going to see very often. Uh, got some socks right here, as you can see. Kind of cool. And then, what is this? Looks like a little... I, yes, I do. Nah, it's a little chain. 
Oh, it's kind of cool. It's just a little silver sort of chain sort of thing. Simple, simple chain, little accessory. And then, what is this? Is this a little pillow? Nah, uh, this is another shirt. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a published shirt. Cool. So there's a published shirt, kind of raw edged shirt right here. Man, a lot of stuff in here. And then the last thing to show you guys, because there's a big ass shoe box in here. Oh, okay. It's a stamped box. And dude, it, I mean, it even came with its own uh, bag. They came with the stamped Blades of Blaze of Glory. I always think Blades of Glory whenever I see Bog. I just freaking love that movie. Anything Will Ferrell's in, uh, I've been a fan of for a while. These are clean though, man. These are definitely a nice pair of shoes and a nice little box of stuff that they ended up sending me. So that was definitely cool too. But that's kind of the end of the video. Those are just the random stuff that I ended up getting recently. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And again, big shout out to Jack Rabbit for this. And if you guys, again, have tried this pair of shoes right here, leave some comments, let me know your thoughts. Performance-wise or casual-wise, I'm just wanting to see what you guys think. Or any other knockdown or different, not only say knockdown, any other alternate versions of Boost sneakers that you've tried that has not had enough shine yet. Just leave a comment and let me know. Maybe I'll do a top five uh, underrated Boost shoes or something like that. Because this, personally, I think would be one of them. Because this is just a really well-made shoe for $120. That is the video. Thank you all for watching. That was like a triple axle Lux Blades of Glory style. If you guys want to see some other videos on my channel, click the links on the screen at this time on your mobile or on your desktop, and you can go check out those videos. But thank you all for watching. Do appreciate it. Have a good one, guys. Peace.